California Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom, an outspoken supporter of cannabis legalization, just released a guide to help the state through the process of legalizing the plant. In the report released Wednesday, a commission led by Newsom put forth 58 recommendations and goals for cannabis legalization, reform that is currently backed by about 54% of Californians, according to a recent poll by the Public Policy Institute. The lawmaker's report doesn't express support or opposition for cannabis legalization, but instead focuses on important social and public policy proposals, like data collection, limiting advertising, and protecting and educating youth. Despite the neutral report, Newsom said drafting it only served to significantly increase his enthusiasm for full-blown cannabis legalization. Still, Newsom wants to ensure the reform is implemented responsibly. Quote, I'm more cautious as a parent, more cautious as a policymaker. We're arguing for a very regulated market that has real oversight, that is flexible. The report, created by the Lieutenant Governor, Abdi Sultani, Executive Director of the ACLU of Northern California, and Keith Humphreys, a professor at Stanford University School of Medicine, discussed other reasonable regulations, like requiring shops to ask for ID, establishing licensing and training standards, and limitations on types of products sold. They also said that taxes collected from cannabis should be used for education and public health and safety programs. Californians are expected to get the chance to vote on cannabis legalization next year. Six different ballot initiatives to legalize the plant have already been submitted to California's Secretary of State. Many other states are expected to hold votes to legalize cannabis in 2016 as well, including Ohio, Massachusetts, Arizona, and Maine.